Good morning, Zion Dew. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. My name is Marceline Juma, and I'm really excited about um, the paradigm that the Lord is doing in this season uh, because of what I'm going to talk about. I'll be talking about mission, God on mission. And um, I think I'll be building up uh, one aspect of it on the other as uh, we do uh, this series. Um, have you ever thought that uh, God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, has always been on mission? Have you ever thought about what it means to be on mission uh, for you as an individual? This is just generally speaking without putting in the uh, believer's aspect of view, without putting in the professional aspect of view. Every one of us as created by the Lord, ideally we are on mission, but what mission are you on? What mission are you on? Uh, two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, a month to two weeks ago, we had a mission as a Kima Center and uh, because of the kind of personality that I am, I was very excited. I just wanted the mission to come and I wanted to be there. And uh, on that first day when the mission was happening, it was a medical camp in a certain town in Kenya. I, I happened to have been in a group of people and I needed to just catch up and be on the ground where the mission was happening. It was a medical camp and an outreach camp. And uh, we went to the place a bit late but just the excitement to see the people, the crowd gathering, the gospel shared, the, the, the kind of love that people are experiencing through that mission really triggered something and some good memories in my heart. And I want to tie that to God's mission. God's, God's, God's mission in humanity. God has always been in a mission uh, from the beginning. Now. Let me read scripture from Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 27. Then God said, Let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image, in the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God in creation was on a mission to create and to have a being that would be like him. That is the genesis of mission as it were, as we think about mission as a whole. God, from the beginning, he created man to be a reflection of him, to be a representative of him on the earth that he has created. So he created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. There's an end to what God created us as human beings to be. There was an end of what he had desired for us to be. There's a goal for which he had created us. And then with that in mind, in line with mission brings us to the point of then what happened with God's desire at the beginning. God was on a mission when he created man. So what happened so that there was a need for human beings to also be a, uh, a representation of God in his mission. Something happened, something happened. Philippians chapter two, verse 12 to 13. Dear friends, you always followed my instructions when I was with you. And now that I am away, it is even more important. Work hard to show the results of your salvation, obeying God with deep, deep preference and fear. For God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. Now, I would like to tie that scripture to Genesis chapter 1 and bring that reconciliation between where we are at now and that initial intention of God as far as God's mission is concerned. 
at the point of getting born again or at the point of receiving Jesus in our hearts as believers, it's expected that we would be drawn back to that initial intention of being the representation of God. Uh, verse 27 of Genesis chapter 1 says, So God created the human beings in his own image. Going back to that initial image that God desired from the beginning. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12 and 13 tells us that God is working in you, you who is born again. And giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. To do what takes you back to that initial intention that God had in the beginning. In the beginning. And that excites me because it tells me that it's possible for us as human beings to get back to that initial intention. It's possible for you and I as believers to get back to that initial intention. Being the image of God on earth and partnering with him on mission, on God's mission on earth. God's mission, because mission is not our idea. Mission is God, not uh, some sector or some, uh, uh, what do I say? Like some special people somewhere who are calling themselves missionaries. Mission is a way of us partnering with God to get back to that initial intention that God had when he created man, getting back to the image of God, being a representation of God in this current time, in this current setting, as we uh, are believers and are born again. Now, I'd like to challenge you, as part of the people who are listening to Zion Do this morning, are you on mission? That is number one. And number two, whose mission are you on? Are you on your own mission or are you on God's mission? Have you identified what God wants you to do as far as you're concerned in partnering with him to reconcile people, to reconcile yourself to the, that initial intention of being his image on earth? That is my challenge to you this morning. That is my challenge to you this day. That is my challenge to you this season. Are you on mission and whose mission are you on? Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we are grateful for this morning. And thank you, Lord, for reminding us that um, you are a God on mission. Even from when time began, you were God on mission. And so I pray that you would take us back to that place of knowing that, what, that which you called us for and to align to it as individuals, people who identify as your children. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.